What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Regrowth. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, yeah, we ended off with making the ME controller. Oh, my goodness. That was quite the endeavor, wasn't it? So, yeah, we had the ME controller. That was, like, one of the big parts that we needed in order to progress until Applied Energistics. Now, it is true. We don't necessarily need the ME controller. We could have used the power acceptor and made ourselves just a simple eight-channel Applied Energistics system, but... I think it makes sense that we go ahead and get that controller knocked out of the way. That way we can expand out as we want to. We're not limited. So, since we had the controller, I took the time off camera. I made a whole bunch of diamond electron tubes, a whole bunch of golden ones, a whole bunch of diamond chipsets, a whole bunch of golden ones. Made a bunch of the components that we need for applied energistics. At least a very basic. And we got ourselves an ME drive. Yep, that required... Uh, a couple of the diamond processors, which, like I said, the printed engineering circuits, these diamond chipsets, these things right here require the diamond electron tubes. So I got all this stuff knocked out. In fact, I even made some of the acceleration carts for the inscriber because without those, this just goes super, super, super slow. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, we got a lot of these things knocked out. I made some of these 1K drives. Uh, which require the 1k storage component, which is Certus Quartz, which we have growing right now. That's not a big deal. We have a few stacks of this stuff now. Uh, Redstone, we're running low on. We're going to have to start growing that again. Logic processor, same thing as like the diamond ones. You need the diamond chipset, and then you also need the diamond electro, or I'm sorry, the golden electron tube and the golden chipset. Sorry about that. So we got all this stuff done. In fact, I have a few extra bits and pieces left over, but all of our stuff and all of these chests that we had here are now on those 10 discs. Well, there's a few things I don't have on there, like all these extra chests. I don't know what we're gonna do with those. We're probably just gonna toss them. I don't really need to store them. And then over in this chest, we had a lot of seeds. I kinda wanna keep these together. I don't really want to get them mixed up. We might do like a storage bus kind of a thing so we can still see them and search for them in the crafting terminal. But for right now, they're just sitting right here. If I need one of these seeds to go plant, we'll just take them from right there. Cool. So yeah, lots of stuff that we had in these chests. Like some of these chests, you're able to scroll for forever in them, right? So like I had MK5 chests, right? You put two of these together. And like you can scroll quite a distance. There's a lot of space that you can put in these things. Um, yeah, we were just taking up so much room. It's starting to get hard to find stuff that I was looking for. Even though we kind of had them in a certain way, ordered in such a way. Yeah, after a while, mm-mm. So now, whenever we want anything, we just come to our ME crafting terminal. Everything that was in all those chests are now available right here, including our Mariculture stuff that we had sitting in a little old chest like over here for like the longest time. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. So today, guys, now that we got that done, we don't really have to mess with it. Auto crafting, all of that stuff we'll take care of in the future. I do want to get some infrastructure set up. Like I want to have wires, I think, that run all the way over here to the farms. So when the farms produce stuff, it just dumps it directly into the applied energistic system. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, there might be a way where we can wirelessly send stuff back and forth, like through an ender chest or something equivalent that I'm not aware of yet. But I'm not aware of that specific thing. There isn't the ender storage mod in this mod pack. There might be some other way to do it. I'll have to figure that out a little bit later. Maybe like B-Space barrels or something along those lines. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to do today, I wanted to start working on some of these earlier quests. Uh, well, I guess the earlier section in the quest book, I should say. Things that should be knocked out. For instance, I think it's this one. No, not this one. The world embraces. So we got like some quests here for storage. We got some for like better barrels. These are things that we've kind of like passed. We worked with... The compact storage, I think, is the name of this mod. Uh, actually, what is the name? Enhanced Inventories. That's the name of this mod. So we worked with the Enhanced Inventories mod. And once we got here, we're like, well, all of our inventory problem is solved for the time being. We can just keep expanding and using the upgrades and making our chest bigger. Well, that was all good. But we kind of left all these other quests behind. Um, I know that the seed storage isn't that great. Like this will hold one type of seed, like all the different varieties of that, but all of our seeds are going to be 10, 10, 10. So that doesn't matter. So we probably won't be using those, but these are quests that we still have to knock out regardless. Storage drawers is another mod that we've already started using. So we didn't even need the quest for this, but, uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock out like, uh, probably these three quests right here. 
since these are things that we're not going to use or we've already used. We'll knock those out. If there's anything interesting in like the text or whatever, I'll bring you guys back in. I definitely want to check out some of these because I've never actually used the seed storage before. I've just heard from people. It's not that great. It only holds one type of seed per item. Uh, there was another one, the compartmentalization quest right here, this compartment. I was reading this just a moment ago and it says in an effort to organize your storage a little better, you've managed to design a variant of chest you've taken to calling a car compartment. The compartment contains multiple small inventories, which can be labeled with the name, color and icon for easier identification navigation. That seems pretty awesome. I've never used this before. I mean, I don't think we're going to be using it. I definitely want to check that out. So let me go ahead and bust out some of those quests real quick. We'll take a look at some of these unique items and we'll be right back guys. All right guys. Well, I went ahead and I busted out those four different quests actually. So yeah, uh, one of the items we made was this void upgrade. This goes on a better barrel. The dual tip pretty much explains what it does. Deletes excess added items once the barrel is full. So we've seen this functionality before. We've used this for the storage drawers. So when we're harvesting stuff, if it gets full, it's not going to try and go into another drawer. It just, you know, completely gets removed. So it's the same kind of a setup. But yeah, um, so there's not really a lot to check out there. It wanted us to make a one by two drawer was the other quest for these storage drawers. So yeah. That's a storage drawer and it's got two different compartments. So you can put two different things in it. It's kind of cool. I guess I believe it holds the half of the amount of the in inventory per drawer as like the ones that's just the one by one. I think that's how that works. Like it doesn't hold double the amount. It just splits the, the amount that the, the single one can hold in half for the two different compartments. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, we've seen storage drawers before. There's not a whole lot that's special about them to see right now. Uh, the seed storage, though, this is something I was kind of interested in because this is an item that I haven't used before. I actually had to kind of play around with this for a minute to figure out how it works. So you would think with this particular item, we be like, oh, okay, let's just put our seeds in there. Right-click them, shift-right-click, left-click, shift-left-click, shift-control, F5. No, anyway, uh, the way this thing works uh, you have to shift click in from here. I don't think there is a way we can try this. If you click here, shift click. Yeah. It looks like you can only shift click into it. Uh, one thing I did notice though, is after you shift click, like the front of it has this little icon, but there still is no way to put these items in here by hand unless you go into this inventory and then shift click them in. But it looks like you can sort by gain strength or growth, which is kind of cool. So if you had a lot of these different seeds, I mean, I guess this would be a way you could store them. I don't think I'd ever want to do this though, since it can only hold one type. If there was like a mass storage item similar to this, that could store all of these different seeds at the same time. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, you can only put one type in there. So that's too bad, but this is a kind of cool item. I like it. Okay, so the last item was this compartment from Binicore. This was one that I wanted to see as well. <laughs> this is a pretty crazy looking chest. Uh, so how does this work? Okay, so we got four different sides. Isn't there a way that it said we could rename these? I don't know how to rename them. What happens if I put stuff there? If I click on this side. Oh, okay. So it's like different tabs for the different stuff. What happens if I click search? Oh, okay. So it brings up all of these things in one searchable. I can't place anything here. Interesting. Uh, so if I want to search for nether, yeah, just as you would expect, that's pretty cool. So is there a way that you can tell something to go in one specific tab? I'm not sure. Every time I click on this, it always goes to this very first tab. Maybe like if you're piping in from a certain side. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to play around with this thing for a little while in order to really figure this out. But I don't think we're going to be using this too much since we've already kind of gotten past this point in the game. Uh, looks like you have to break it with the pick, not an ax. Cool. So I also saw though, after we got done doing those quests that we had unlocked a whole lot of other ones that were already completed, uh, this compartment, let's go ahead and claim the reward. It's going to give us seven more of those things. Uh, the seed storage is going to give us eight more of those. The drawer is going to give us four two by two drawers. 
Okay, and then the avoiding me, the void upgrade quest is going to give us a second void upgrade plus three storage upgrades. All right, so it looks like we had a quest for the dolly, which we had already made previously. I made up a bunch of those. That's how we moved our inventories from our original starting island way over there. Can't see it. It's like you can barely see the nether portal on it. Uh, that's how we moved all the inventories to here when we first moved to this place. Uh, so we had the dolly made. Uh, the quest said, you know that chest you filled with stuff but now want to not now want to be somewhere else? Well, who says you have to empty it? A dolly lets you pick up various forms of storage and slowly transport it elsewhere. Or you can pick things up and stick it in your <laughs> little backpack here and not move it slowly as we found out. So anyway, that's going to give us 16 oak drawer, one by twos, and eight better barrels and a little bit of reputation. Um, am I missing something here? It says crafting task 100% pick one. Oh, it's going to give us one or the other. That's what I'm missing. I guess we'll take the drawers. We're not going to be using either of these. All right, so getting the upgrade. Yeah, we've already made the upgrade template. And the other thing was the storage upgrade. I guess I wanted us to make any of these would satisfy it. And we made the emerald ones, which is this particular one, the number six. Okay, so we can pick one of these rewards. So another storage upgrade five or 10 of the twos. I guess we'll pick this one. All right, and then we have some quests here for compacting drawers. Ah, that's actually a good one. Compacting drawers are super awesome. So it's gonna give us a reward of four of these. We've already seen this stuff work. And then the drawer controller, yeah, that's how we're currently accepting items into our small storage drawer set up underneath our farm under there. In fact, we're using the drawer controller and a drawer slave. Um, so you can only have one drawer per uh, storage drawer network, but you have many slaves and the slaves accept the items just like the drawer controller does. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so that's going to give us eight spruce drawers. Nice. Yeah, these are ones that we'll actually be using because I think, well, no, we're using jungle drawers right now, but the spruce ones, since these are the one by ones, those will work out pretty well. I definitely will be using those even though they're a different color than the other ones. But yeah, these compacting drawers, these are really, really good too. I like them. Cool. All right, so other quests that we should do, maybe we should knock out the last two in this section. I'm not sure if that's going to be the final two. It might be. Uh, so we wanted to make a white bag. And it says, being able to carry a bit more stuff with you while you travel could come in handy. A weave of wool should be strong enough to carry a bunch of items. So that wants us to make a chest, some wool, and some string. You know, I think we might be able to do that right now. Uh, what's this thing called? A white bag? Let's just go ahead and see if we can make one of these right now. Oh, this is from the Baggins' mod? I think I've used that before in Agrarian Skies. I think so. Looks like we need just a few more planks in the system. That's fine. We can go ahead and do that. All right, so we'll make that chest. I think we should have wool and string. Nice. Okay. So was that all we needed to satisfy the quest? It was. All right, so let's take a look at this. So a white bag. Okay, so that's not a whole lot of stuff, right? Like we can put all these things in there and throw that on the ground. Or you can put that in a chest. So anytime that you can put stuff in something and put that something in a chest, that's pretty awesome, even though that is the tier one. I wonder how much stuff the tier two does. So we need the upgrade. You know what? Let's try making the upgrade. Let's check that out. Why not? So there's the upgrade, and then to do that, there you go, tier two. Ah, okay, so now it's the size of a regular chest. Well, that's not so bad. Then we can put, you know, all sorts of stuff in there. In fact, we could, you know, keep it on us like here and have extra, extra inventory. So that's pretty neat. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and put that. I guess we'll stick it in here. I'm not so sure where we'll need it right now, but should we ever need it in the future, I know where to get it. Put these seeds away. Don't want to ever lose those. Okay, so let's go ahead and claim the reward. That's going to give us a lime bag. Which is also a tier one, so we could upgrade that should we choose to later. But I don't think we're going to be using those right now. Oh, you know what? We got these other compartments. Let's put those away. All of this stuff. Compacting drawers. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to have to make more discs. 
We only got one with the green light on there, and that can only hold like 14 more items or something. Uh, or is that 24? Anyway, it can only hold a certain amount more items. Um, so let's do this. Oh, bigger bags. That was another quest here is to upgrade it. So it said the simple bags are fairly useful, but you think that reinforcing them with iron might allow them to carry a bit more, which we found out, and it does. So yellow bag tier two, I was kind of hoping that these would be full of something, <laughs> but no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So those are done. The last two quests is bye bye baggage. Uh, some things just aren't worth keeping. A void bag will destroy any items put into it while having the advantage of being portable. So it's a portable trash can. That's kind of cool. I suppose. I don't know if we'd ever want to do that. Wait, did that wool have to be that color or was that? any specific wool if it has to be that color no it looks like any color wool and then we need some ender pearls crafting with applied energistics it's so good so yeah just one little spot and everything, anything we throw in there will be voided away we have anything to throw away at the moment i feel like i should never throw anything away i'm kind of a hoarder a little bit how about some essence of glowstone Goodbye. It's gone. Yeah, it doesn't even keep it here so you can pull out later. I've seen it before. Oh, I think I've seen it before where there's some kind of a void bag or a void item where the last item gets stuck here. And then if you throw something else away, that gets deleted. And the last one you put in here gets put right here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game or something. Anyway, so we got that one done. That's going to give us a reward of a void chest, which I think is probably a little bit more useful. So that deletes items we put in there. Now I wonder how that one works. Is it just the same way? Like anything you put in there just gets deleted immediately. Okay. So it deletes them out one at a time. So you got a little bit of time. If you shift click a lot of things in there, you'd be like, Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. So that that's pretty good. You know, having a way to delete items is always good to have. All right, so we got that one done. And then finally, the golden compass. This is something I'm not sure. Waypoint compass. Okay, so this says the waypoint pins on the map are all well and good, but you can't look at the pins if you aren't looking at the map they're on. So this is something that we looked at way earlier on. Uh, so this says if you can make some sort of compass that links to the waypoints, it may be just what you need. Maybe you could eventually take it further and enchant your Alice to make it easier to find where you last died. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, with just a waypoint compass, you can shift click to enter coordinates and the name for a waypoint, and it will point to that location. If you store one or more in your Atlas, you can select the compass. All right. Well, these are things we probably aren't going to be doing. Uh, we don't really die too often in this mod pack. We have died, I think, eight times total. But it's been a long time, I guess seven times. It's been a long time since we have died. <laughs> that was like earlier, earlier on. Uh, I think before we even started making any of our armor. All right, so I keep clicking the wrong thing. We need to make ourselves a compass. Let's do that real quick. Are we out of redstone? We're completely out of redstone. That's not good. Uh, I don't even have a way to break that with a pickaxe. So let's come down here, I guess, to the crusher. That should be able to do it, right? No, do we have a regular pickaxe? Something that's not silk touch. How about a hammer? Hammer should do it. It's hammer time. They can't do it. Well, I guess it's about time we make ourselves a pick that can actually mine an ore, huh? So I went ahead and I made myself a manual and pickaxe. I did a paper binding and just a, an iron tool rod. Nothing super fancy, but yeah, that was able to break the redstone ore into five little bits of redstone dust. Got the rate point compass done. Cool. So we can claim that reward. That's going to give us 32 empty maps and two more waypoint compasses. So what the world embraces is not complete yet, even though we have completed every single quest. Now, the only thing I can think of is there's going to be something off this growth mastery because there is one more seed quest that we have to do. And I think it was down here. Yeah, there's one more seed to do. I think that might be one of the final ones. I honestly don't know, uh, but we got like all these waypoint compasses and stuff that we're probably not ever going to use. 
Let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. Okay, so I guess the next thing we should do is figure out where else in the quest book we should tackle. I'm kind of thinking what the world teaches. This is another earlier section, and all this is is making a whole lot of different books. And, you know, having books around for different mods seems like a smart idea. So we have one for witchcraft. We have one for witchcraft. <laughs> Uh, I guess these were all the Mariculture ones, and then we have one for Tinkers. So let me go ahead and knock those out. I wonder if making these books here, it says it unlocks a quest elsewhere. I wonder if that will unlock the witchery quests and stuff. I think that was down here, right? Where the world feels, where the world grows. Anyway, it seems like there should be a few more quests here, and we haven't been able to do them yet. So maybe making those books is going to be the way to unlock those. So I'm going to go ahead and make these books. See what else we can unlock in this section, and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and made a few of these books, all the quests that we had available here. So we had one on Herbology, and this is saying Mutandis seems to produce many different plants. Maybe there's a tome which can tell you about them. So, yeah, this little book right here would tell us all the different plants and stuff in witchery. So we're going to get some experience traps, a book, and some essence of nature. Let's claim that. So fuming, collecting fumes, tells us, you know, more about the witch's oven, things that we've already experienced and done before in this series and a previous series. So we don't really need to go into this too much, but we have the book now for reference. So that's going to give us 16 experience drops, 32 clay jars, which is awesome, and four more books. So we had to make uh, another book here called Witches Brews. I don't know if I've ever done the Witches, or if I ever made this book and looked at it. I think I had to make one specific brew previously. No, I think I had to make a couple of them uh, in Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. But anyway, this quest says the Coven Witches you've encountered, which we haven't, <laughs> all seem to be really into this new fad of brewing stuff in cauldrons. From what you can tell, they learned the skill from a book titled Witches Brews. Maybe you should try and get a hold of a copy. So we went in and made one of those. Now this says when looking at a recipe in the book, power requirements can be seen for each ingredient by hovering over them. The value in brackets is the altar power. You know what? I didn't even open this book yet. Maybe we should do that one. Um, which is brew. I accidentally made this one. Brews and infusions trying to make this one. So I have another book that I can read that we didn't have to make, but I have it now. So let's see. Power capacity cauldron rituals. It was saying that we could hover over different tongue of dog. Ah, okay. So this is ultra power costs for rituals. Another quartz. Tear of the goddess. I remember that being kind of like a pain to get. Anyway, these are things we'll look into when we get into witchery. But yeah, that's kind of cool that there's like a lot of these different recipes in here and how to do it and all this stuff in the altar power. Yeah, witchery. At first, you don't think it's that in-depth of a mod, but it really is. Okay, uh, so getting back to here, we'll claim the reward. That's going to give us 16 more experience drops, another book, and 16 mutandis. So we had to make the Tinker's Weapon rebook in this particular quest. We had already collected all these other ones and made these other ones. But yeah, Tinker's Weapon re was the last one here. I think this gives us information about like the crossbows and other such things. I haven't actually looked at this. So, okay, there's a javelin, uh, throwing knives, longbow, shortbow, crossbow. Yeah, and these are all items that we have made in previous mod packs. So, not a whole lot here. Cool. So, the quest reward is going to give us 12 experience and another book. Then finally, we had Tales of a Tinker's Past. This wanted us to make a Diary of a Tinker. I didn't actually read this particular book yet. It says, you've got a good knowledge base for tinkering now, but rumors suggest that there is one last tome to be found, which details the journey of one man as he became the master tinkerer, or became a master tinkerer. Any knowledge to be gotten from his magical tome? Uh, where is it? <laughs> Any knowledge to be gotten from his magical tome is knowledge worth having, right? I suppose. I suppose. So what does this say? This is just like a diary. I, I don't, well, I'm not going to read it right now, obviously. I wonder if there's any good information in here. There's no pictures or anything. It probably tells us a way to make a specific item. Maybe it's talking about like the slime crystals or I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out another time when it makes sense to read through that if it ever does. 
But, so we've unlocked all of this stuff, right? We're only 40% complete, so... Uh, there's going to be more books, apparently. I don't know. I don't know when we're going to unlock this stuff. Maybe something from, like, Thomcraft, like the Thomonomicon and some other stuff. Well, who knows? Maybe Blood Magic will be in here. I honestly don't know. Uh, but let's scroll down real quick. We'll go to how the world grows. All right, so Witchcraft. And, oh, yeah, look at this. We did unlock some more quests. So we got three new ones here that we didn't have before. All right, so Bubble, Bubble, Toil, and Trouble... This wants us to get an annoying paste. <laughs> okay, so this says brewing seems to require not just any old cauldron like you thought, but rather one that's been coated in a paste of seeds known as annoying paste. It's actually anointing, but I call it annoying. The first step towards brewing would be to make one of these witches cauldrons. Okay, so we need to make this stuff. In order to do that is Mandrake, Snowbell, Belladonna, and Water Artichoke. I think we should have all of these. Um, I think we should have all of that in the system. I'm trying to find, how do I spell that? A-N-N-A-N-O-I. There it is. So do we have that? We don't, not here. I'm pretty sure we have all these different seeds. There's the Belladonna, the Snowbell, Mandrake, Water Artichoke. All right, so now we got it all. Now can I click that? There it is. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so we did the crafting task. Now the detection task wants us to make the Witch's Cauldron. Does it show a crafting recipe in here? No. I I think we have to click that on a regular cauldron. Does it say? Crafting task, detection task. It doesn't say. I think we had to click that on a regular cauldron. Let's try and make one real quick. So there's that. I guess I'll stick it up here by our other witchery stuff. Yeah, I've done this before, but it's been a little bit. Uh, do we just click this? There it is. So you just click it on there and then you get the witch's cauldron. Cool. So this requires, I think, fire underneath it, or maybe lava works too. You put water in there, it boils, similar to like the way the Thomcraft, uh, whatever that is, <laughs> I forget the name of that particular item. It's kind of the same way as you do it in Thomcraft. Cool, so we got that done. Detection, oh, it wants this in my inventory, so I guess we pick the sack up. There it is. Okay, so that's gonna give us the Rowan, the Alder, the Hawthorne, and 32 more clay jars, and a little bit of reputation. All right, guys, so it looks like the next bit of quest in that section wants us to really get into witchery, start making the altar. This particular one wants us to use some more of that mutandus and get, like, Spanish moss and glint weed. We've already collected the ember moss. That was something we got a little bit earlier on. Yeah, and then, uh, what is this? The Attuned Stone? I forget how to make this. I know I've made one of those before. So these are things we'll have to look at at another time. Unfortunately, we have reached the end of the episode for today, guys. So, we got all of our stuff put into Applied Energistics now. We don't have to worry about chests. We don't have to worry about trying to find things. Whenever we want to find something, it's just a search bar away. It's so good, guys. I really, really like that. Not only that, but it cleans up a lot of space down below in our little basement area. So we got more room to work, which is pretty good. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I think we're going to start moving some of our stuff that's down here up here. Yeah, we got a lot of room up on this island that we're not using, right? We have <laughs> our Coke oven and a blast furnace over here, and we haven't really done anything with them. Uh, these water tanks are going to be torn down. Our seed stuff over here we're pretty much done with. And yeah, we just got a big open area here that's not really being used. So I think we're going to end up moving a lot of our machines upstairs, putting them around, maybe building little structures for them or something. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Mr. Cow over here will be moved over to his own island. We will be devoting one of our islands to animals at some point in the future. But yeah, I think that is it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.